Assalamu alaikum. Greetings from Talent of Skill, Class 5, English version, Math, Exercise 4, Exercise 4, Number 1, Number 2, and Number 3 question. We will solve one after another. First, let us solve number 1. The bracket one. Question number one and bracket one. Mult express the following sentence in mathematical sentence and identify open and mathematical sentence. There are two types of mathematical sentence. We know one is one is mathematical open sentence and the other open sentence and the other is Mathematical closed sentence. Now we have to identify which of these, which of the following are open sentence and which are closed sentence. And what is open and what is closed? The open sentence is the one which has mathematical symbol in it. For example, X, Y, Z or A, B, C. These are mathematical symbol. If a statement has mathematical symbols in it, we will tell that a open sentence, mathematical open sentence because that value will vary and if it doesn't have any mathematical symbols in it, we will tell, we will call it a mathematical closed sentence. For example, let us solve one after another. Number one, multiply 9 by 7 equals to 80, it says. The statement says, multiply 9 by 7 equals to 80. Now, is it true or it is not true? 9 into 7 is actually 63. So, it is not true. It is not actually equal. So, how we express it? So, we can put not equal sign here and then now it is, now it is becoming true. So, it is a mathematical Closed sentence means you have nothing to do here. It is closed. There is no mathematical symbol inside like A, B, C or any X, Y, Z. So 9 to 7 is not equals to 80 and this is true. So this is a type of mathematical mathematical Closed sentence. Closed sentence. Now, number two. Subtracting x from 42 equals 35. From 42, subtract x equals to 35. Now question is what is the value of x? What is the value of x? Now we don't know the value of x. Now we cannot call it mathematical closed sentence. 
it is open because value of x will vary if it is value if its value is 10 the statement is not same if the value of x is 11 so the mathematical open sentence let us call it mathematical open sentence now number 3 bracket 3 dividing 120 by 40 divide 120 divide by 40 equals to 3 and is it true yes it is true so what should we call this this is a closed sentence because this is true we have nothing to do here if this was not true we could do something and then make it true and then call it closed sentence now we have nothing to do here this is already true so we call it mathematical mathematical closed sentence next question number two first bracket number one what we have to do here determine the unknown values in the following open sentence so that it becomes true these are open sentence and we have to find we have to determine the value of the unknown variables okay let's do the first one a triangle has x sides a triangle a triangle has x sides x sides what does this mean we know a triangle this is a triangle and how many sides it has one two three so can we write now x sides equals to three sides yes we can write x sides equals to three sides now we have to determine the unknown values the value of x what is the value of x therefore x equals to 3 so x equals to 3 and if x equals to 3 then the statement is a open sentence and it is true if x is not equals to 3 the statement is not true for example if x is 4 then a triangle does not have four sides so this is false so we cannot call it true to call it a true we have to put the value so if we put the value 3 this becomes true so x sides means 3 sides and x equals to 3 now bracket number 2 receive 23 taka after paying 50 taka for x taka's item x taka's item means cost of item is x taka so cost of item item is x taka x taka x taka x taka x taka equals to 50 minus 50 taka minus 23 taka equals to 27 taka so x taka equals to 27 taka therefore 
x equals to 27. Now if x equals to 27, then cost of item will be 27 taka. So this is true. We have to determine the unknown value in the open sentence so that it becomes true. So they said you receive 23 taka after paying 50 taka and what is the value of x? So if you receive 23 taka and once you pay 50 taka that means the value of item is 27 taka. That means x equals to 27. So we have found we have determined the value of x. Answer x equals to 27. Question 3. Square shaped papers whose side is equal to x centimeter. We know square square means a quadrilateral that has four sides equal. So a square whose side each side is x here x that means because this is a square each side will be x x centimeter 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 now write the perimeter of this square paper perimeter p e r i m e t e r perimeter equals to length of all sides perimeter equals to x centimeter plus x centimeter plus x centimeter plus x centimeter there are four sides so four times we add x centimeter equals to 4 x centimeter centimeter is unit so we have written the perimeter number one is done this was bracket one now we will do bracket two this is answer so answer is 4 x centimeter total area of three pieces of this square means we have to find three area of three squares and let us find area of one square area of one square square equals to x centimeter into x centimeter equals to x into x and centimeter into centimeter means square centimeter equals to x square square centimeter therefore area of three such squares three squares equals to three into x square square centimeter equals to three x square square centimeter so this is the answer answer three x square square centimeter thank you everyone if you have a question please write it in the comment box i will try to reply as soon as possible thank you allah is